Hello all, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to configure DVWA on Windows. So to configure the DVWA on Windows, you should have the jam. So if you don't have the jam, then you can download the jam from this URL. So you can just copy this URL and you can paste over here and you can download it from apachefronts.org. Here you can just download the 64 bit 8.015 PHP. You can just click on download 64 bit and you can just save it in your desired location. I want to save this in a download. So you can just save here. So it will be just downloaded here. You can just see the progress that it is being downloaded. Now, once it is downloaded, you can just go in a show in folder. Now here you can just right click and you can run as administrator. So once you run as administrator, the installer will be run. That is to install the jam on the windows. Then you can just click on yes. Then you can click on OK. Then here you can just click on next. Here you can just select all the option and then you can just click on next. Now wherever you want to install this, you can just choose the folder. I'm just choosing the folder that is default that is C drive jam and you can just click on next here you can choose the language i'm using the default language that is english and then you can click on next here you can just deselect this that is learn more about the bitnami and then you can just click on next next and it will be ready to install so it will install the jam that is easy to install you can say apache and it contains the mysql php and perl so it will take the time to unpack the files. Now, once it is done, it is asking you, do you want to start the control panel now? I don't want to start the control panel now. So you can simply deselect it and then you can just click on finish. Now, jam is installed successfully over here. Now you can just press Windows key and here you can just search for that is X. So you will get the jam control panel. So your jam control panel will be open here you can start your apache here you can start your mysql filezilla and mercury then you can simply minimize this once it is done then you can just go to your browser and here you can just open the new tab and here you can just type localhost and you can press enter it says that jam is installed successfully over here now i want to install the dwa so to download the dwa you can just go to this website that is dwa.co.uk so here in new tab you can just paste the url and you can just open this website that is dwa.co.uk and here you will be a download the dwa so you can just click on download and here in my downloads folder i will just save this that is dwa master you can just save this now you can go to your download folder and here you can just click on so in folder now here you can just right click on dwa and you can extract to dwa master so your dwa master folder will be extracted from the zip file you can just open that particular folder here you can just copy this dwa master folder you can just right click and copy and you can paste into c drive and there is a your folder that is a jam and here in a jam folder there is a folder that is htdocs here inside the htdocs you can just paste your folder that is dwa master so here dwa master folder is copied in a htdocs now you can just open your dwa master you can go to your config file and you can simply copy your config file and you can paste here and you can just rename this now this is only that is config.inc.php it will ask you are you sure you want to change it yes so you can just press enter so this config.inc.php file is created over here now here you can just right click and you can edit with the notepad plus plus so now here in config.inc.php file here you can just say that the user is that is a root and here in password you can just leave it blank you can just save this particular file 
and you can go to your browser. So here in browser, you can just write that is a localhost slash dwwa dash master and your setup will be open. So here database setup is open. Now here you can just click on create reset database. So it will create the database. It is created and it will log on to the DVWA. You just need to provide here username and password. Here you can just provide the username that is admin and the password is password. Then you can just click on login. So you can say that damn vulnerable web application that is DVWA is a setup over here and you can just click on any part. For example, if you want to do SQL injection, then you can just provide here user ID one and you will get the data that is admin admin. So this is the way you can set up the DVWA. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.